Hello there, welcome to Create Tech. Today we're going to be learning how to make a news issue using the program Scratch. So, let's get started. Here is actually an example of a news issue called Apex News. We're actually going to watch it. And this is where you guys will, like, you know, get an example of a news article. So, let's get started. Oh, I think I clicked the wrong thing. Um, we're just going to wait for it to load. Okay, here we go. So, right now we have like an introduction scene, I'm guessing. Yep. Epic news. And then here, um, we have like a table of contents, which is kind of like a menu. Table of contents, yep. So, whenever you click space, you go to the next slide. And that's pretty cool. You go to the next slide, and each slide has like a different transition, something different happens each slide and there's information in every um, new slide so this is what we're actually going to be making today using scratch so let's get started um, we're gonna open a new project and then we're gonna delete the scratch cat so we're gonna have a blank project how I made Apex News 2 was by using um we're actually going to take a look inside was using uh backdrops wait yep i used backdrops wait um, no i did not use backdrops i used a sprite um and one sprite has every single slide so it goes to the next sprite um, when spacebar is clicked. So when spacebar is clicked, change the costume. I could have also used a backdrop, but I think, um, yeah, there's actually no difference between using this and a backdrop. So, yep. Yeah. Um, we're gonna, uh, I'll show you guys, like, two slides of a news article right now. So we're actually going to do the backdrop way. So right now I'm just going to use the fill tool, fill this black, and then have text, have mystery text, and say table of contents. Oh, you guys can't see that. Make it white. Okay. I'm not going to like actually have information and stuff in this news article. So we have a table of contents. And then we're going to add a new backdrop, and we're going to paint it. I'll make it a different color. And then here, we're going to have, let's say, intro. An introduction, you know, just say who you are and stuff like that. And then, I'm just going to add, like, two more. Uh, I'm going to add this color. I'm just going to add, like, riddles or something. Um, this doesn't have to be the order, you guys could pick any order and stuff like that. Cool stuff. And obviously pick, um, text color that people could see. So, we have four backdrops with information that we would like to, you know, share. So we're gonna go to our backdrops, um, script. When flag is clicked, we're gonna looks we're gonna switch backdrop to backdrop one so let's say if we're in the third backdrop already like and we didn't exit it's always gonna be in the third um backdrop but we want it to we want it to start from the table of contents so this is why we're gonna use switch backdrop to backdrop one and then we're actually going to do one space bars it could be anything it doesn't have to be space bar so when space bar is clicked go to the next back job so let's look at this table of contents i'm gonna click space bar intro cool stuff riddles table of contents again that's pretty cool
But now, like in Apex News, we have like a cool, you know, transition. So, in order for us to get a cool transition, we're gonna, like in Apex News, let's remind us. Um, you could see, like, the top part, which was right here. Like, look right here. Yep. That goes, like, you know, turns, which is kind of cool. So, in Apex News, there was something called the Lost. Let's take a look. Wait, was it Lost? When spacebar is clicked, turn, okay. It was just, um, turn was used. So, technically, when spacebar is clicked, um, looks... Oh, so this is why I use sprites instead of backdrops. So let's say you want, you know, like in Apex use the turning thing, if you want that to happen, you're gonna have to use sprites because backdrops cannot use, um, cannot use like cool transitions like turning and stuff, and that's why I chose to do sprites. Um, we could uh, change color and backdrops. We're actually gonna do that. Change color by like let's say f 100. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so it just changes the color each time. That's all you could do with um, backdrops. You can't actually do that with sprites. So we're actually gonna you know quickly delete it. At least now we know. Um, why we should use sprites instead of backdrops. I'm gonna make a sprite. I'll j I'm not gonna have like intro and stuff like that. I'm just gonna name them, like just have them. Um, different color. I'm just gonna do three. Okay. So since that's on, we're gonna put it right in the center. Or we could do. When flag is clicked, go to, oh, where's go to, okay, go to, um, wait, what, oh yeah, here, go to x is 0 and y is 0, so this is going to be positioned exactly in the center, so that's pretty cool, so when it's exactly in the center, we don't need that anymore, because it's going to stay there forever. So this is our first uh, um, slide. Let's say this is table of contents. So we're going to have one flag is clicked. Looks, costume, switch costume to costume 1. So it's always going to be starting up at the table of contents. And then uh, when flag is, uh, when spacebar is clicked, we're going to have to turn 15 degrees, wait... 0 0.5 seconds and then we're gonna turn back turn back 15 degrees let's do it 30 30 degrees and when spacebar is clicked when the space um, key is pressed we're gonna switch we're gonna go to the next costume so let's get started let's see what happens so when flag is clicked we see black is black Wait, why do we see yeah. Black is costume one. I'm just gonna name it quickly. Table contents. Okay, so it's named, so now we know that you know it's the first one. So I'm gonna click flag again. Table of contents, I'm gonna click space. So it you saw that cool transition. So it just turned and now we have the next slide. Turns, now we have the next slide turns next slide so that's like a cool transition that you could have i'm just gonna do one second let's see if there's different yeah one second to wait to look space is good so that is how to add cool transitions and um that's how to make pretty much a news article all you will need to do is add information to this sprite and let's say if you want sound, you could add sound. So when flag is clicked, um, you could, let's say, get a song from YouTube or something. But you have to give those guys credit because of copyright. So you could have sound and stuff. 
making this a cool um, news article. Also, what you could do, like, let's say in your table, you're in the table of content. I'm gonna go to Apex News. Um, as you can see, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, you see those, right? Um, let's say someone just wants to go to art. You could have when art is number seven. So when, oops, when seven is clicked, go to looks, switch costume to costume. Where's art? Costume nine. Switch costume to costume nine. So I'm gonna click flag. Um, this is the introduction again. Apex News. Um, and then when it loads, okay, here I'm gonna click nine right now. I'm clicking nine. So when I click nine, oh, it says seven. I'm gonna click seven. I mean, and when I click seven, it takes me. To so you could have cool stuff like that, making it responsive, making an awesome news article. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe.